Here is another problem that you should be aware of, and I don't know if it's ever going to be a big deal. However, I have seen this type of framing over here, and not this type of framing, create a trip hazard right here. And it could be for people going up or down the stairs. So this is going to happen when you trim out your stair steps with some type of a fascia board or a band and not like this. When you have this type of design, you're not going to have something here that could catch your foot like you're going to have over here. And if everything is nice and flat and the wood is never going to expand or contract and it's never going to deform in any way, then you shouldn't ever have a problem. And this might be possible with some of the engineered decking materials and not construction standard lumber. And another problem you could end up with will be the fact that, and this is a biggie, that it could have been built incorrectly. And I know that's hard to believe, but it happens. And here's an example of that right here, where we have the planks or the decking boards a little lower than the band. And I know what you're thinking, this is never going to happen if you build it, but I've came across plenty of projects like this. And I remember one time where they used different materials. And I believe it was hem fur around the outside and redwood on the inside. And I don't know if it was built that way, but the outside band was raised about a quarter of an inch higher than the decking boards. And I've seen this before where the band is lower. And again, it doesn't have to be much to create a trip hazard. And in our example here, I have it a quarter of an inch lower and I guess now would be a good time to point out that if you never stepped on this area and you only stepped on the decking planks, then you're probably never going to have a problem. But most accidents don't occur that way. They occur when you are stepping in this area right here. And of course, deformed lumber, lumber that bows, twists, or cups, is going to be another problem. And I know what you're thinking, hey, if I just use engineered lumber, I'm not going to have a problem. And that's not always the case, because if you overspan those materials, you could end up with sagging. You might not end up with a lumber bowing. However, I've seen plenty of engineered materials that have sagged over time because they weren't properly supported. And if you learned something, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you've ever had an experience like I described in the video, feel free to share that with us in the comment area also. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.